Grade 4 math, number 40. Divide by one digit using partial quotients. Okay, well, let's see if we can remember what partial quotients are. It's a method where you take multiples and we subtract them until we get to zero. Okay? So, you remember what multiples are? They're the answer to a multiplication problem when you multiply the divisor by a counting number. So 6 times 4 would be 24. 24 would be a multiple of 6. See? You're not allowed to multiply it by a fraction or anything like that. It's got to be a counting number. Okay? So these are the multiples of 6. We would just subtract them from the dividend until we got to 0. Alright? So let's see how this works. We're going to start subtracting the mul multiples until we get to 0 or a number smaller than this divisor. Smaller than 5, we've got to stop. All right? Why? Because any number smaller than the divisor is a remainder. All right? So here's the multiples of 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. See the counting numbers? And then these are the multiples. So we're going to start subtracting multiples. We've got 115. Let's subtract 50. That's 5 times 10, okay? So that's 10 fives that we've taken away. 115 minus 50 gets us 65. See, we dropped the 5 and 11 take away 5 is 6. We can take away another 50. That means it's another 10. It's another 5 times 10 we're taking away. 5 take away 0 is 5. 6 take away 5 is 1. 15 is a multiple of 5. And that's a 3, isn't it? And that gets us to zero. We add up the counting numbers, and we get 10 plus 10 plus 3 is 23. So we know 115 divided by 5 equals 23. See? See how we did that? All right. We can also use rectangular models to find partial quotients. If we had 125 divided by 5, We'd have 5 this way and 125 going this way, and we could split it up into 5 times 10 and 5 times 10 and 5 times 5. See? 5 times 10 is 50. Another 5 times 10 is another 50. That's 100. And then 5 times 5 is the 25. We add up these, and we know that 125 divided by 5 is 25. See? So let's look at 198 divided by 9. Here's the multiples of 9, okay? That's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5, see? 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 7. So here's all the multiples. And we're going to start subtracting them from the 198. 9 times 10 is 90. If we take that away, we end up with an 8, a 0, a 1, 108. We can take away another 90, can't we, from 108? So that's another 10. That leaves us an 8 here and a 1 in the tens column. That's 18. 18 is a multiple of 9. That's a 2. We take that away and get 0. We add the 10, the 10, and the 2. That's 22. And we know that 198 divided by 9 equals 22. See how we got that? You can do this, can't you? It's just subtracting the multiples. So write your list of multiples of your divisor, and then just keep subtracting them, and keep track on the side what you're multiplying the multiple by. 9 times 10 is 90, so make sure you put them over here. Then after you've gotten down to 0, you add up these, your counting numbers, and that's how much the quotient is. Okay? We're going to continue talking about division, and we're going to slowly get into long division. So stick with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!